Hello friends, welcome to the help videos of Google Shopping Feed app by Simprosys. In this video, we are going to see how to fix missing size error. Before moving to the video, please subscribe to our channel to get the tips and tricks about digital marketing, and press the bell icon to get notified instantly once we upload any new video. Here in Google Merchant Center on the Diagnostics page are the list of errors raised for products. Here are the products with missing size error in Google Merchant Center. By viewing we will see the list of errors for size missing and will now solve it by applying the size in our app. If you have not synced your Merchant Center errors with the Google Shopping Feed app, kindly follow the video link given in the description below. Once errors are synced from the Merchant Center to the app, you have to click on Filter Products, and from the drop-down will select Errors from Merchant Center. From the list of errors, select Item Size Required, and click on Add Filter. Now, here we have all the products in our app with missing size error. Starting with one size products, if the product is for all the sizes, you can assign them as O, S, F, A, that is one size fits all. You can also put one size there. Now, here we have this product, men's sport shoes, having size variants 8, 9, and 10 and is left with size to be assigned. We have this product as individual product with its variant in the Google Merchant Center. Here there can be following possibilities with the products with size variants. First, there might not be proper variant option name as size or sizes set in the Shopify for some or all of these products. Our app will by default add size attribute to the product variants, if in Shopify for the product you have got variant option name containing size or sizes. For a product, if you have got your variant option name other than size, or sizes, then app will not be able to read those size values, and will not submit the size attribute on these products. Secondly, products like hats, belt or socks does not require size variants. The variant option name must not be mixed with other options like color or material or any other like color slash size or material slash size. It must be a size or sizes option only. Now we'll open this product in Shopify. And we'll apply the changes for size as shown. Generally, you can check the product's item status in the Merchant Center by opening the same product after 40 minutes in the Merchant Center. Let us now open this exactly same product in the Google Merchant Center by clicking on this Merchant Center link given against each variant. And that error must not be there in the item status box. At the same time, when you go to raw feed attribute of content API section you should be able to see the size attribute with the value assigned in the app. Same as this we'll check for other two variants. You don't have to manually push this fix to merchant center for all the products. The app will take care of it automatically in next 30 minutes. You can verify these products error status by opening their individual product pages from the Merchant Center after approximately 35 minutes. But Diagnostics page will take up to 24 hours to update the error count. Also, in our app, product errors don't sync with the Merchant Center automatically. You will have to manually resync the error status from the Merchant Center after 24 hours of previous error sync. We have to wait for 24 hours, because Diagnostics also takes up to 24 hours to update the error counts. Hope this helps. Please subscribe to our channel if you are interested to learn more about Google AdWords and other kinds of digital marketing. We are working to start a completely free course on YouTube that will help you learn digital marketing through Google, Facebook, and other marketing channels. See you again in another video.